Gemini, hi and welcome to your reading. How does this person feel about you? This is a timeless and general love tower reading. Um, and in this reading, as usual, we are not only going to see how the person that you have in mind feels about you, but also this person's intentions and next steps towards you or in this situation. Um, Gemini, I hope you are well, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for stopping by. Now this is a general reading, as I said, so um, please only take what resonates. And this is also a timeless reading, so whenever you find this video, this is the time for you to receive this message from Spirit. Now, Gemini, let's focus on your energy. How does this person feel about Gemini? How does this person feel about Gemini? Someone's got a dog. Uh, dog is a best friend. There's, a, there's an energy of best friend. Um, Gemini, how does this person feel about about Gemini? to feel I still want to take this actually <laughs> everything here right of cups they are so stressed that they are prepared to go um, Gemini look nine of swords and eight of cups they're so so worried so stressed that they're prepared to go we've got aries here emperor this is you know um someone feels really <sighs> what i'm getting is that it's not easy to manage you it's not easy to tell you what what or it's not easy to tell you what to do and this person is stressed because for some reason you're not doing what they want so you kind of like tip this person confidence um, and they are basically you know pulling away I would say um, or the hangman they're trying to real figure out why is this happening why you um, have the power over them. This is what I'm getting, that this person, you know, if this is an emperor, why would an emperor be stressed? So what I'm thinking is um, that you, Gemini, <laughs> you're dealing with someone who uh, who can be quite stern and perhaps that's not easy, you know. Um, there should be space for two people in a relationship and, you know, consideration of the other. And this person is like, my Gemini is not doing what I want. I'm stressed. Oh my God, I have to go. I have to leave this connection. Look, um, I'm going to clarify... And the Knight of Swords, it's like, I feel they have a strong need to talk about it. And they will. Um, Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel this person is very, very worried that, um, you know, this could end up being a situation where they'll have to pack up and go. Um, they're looking at this situation to figure out why Gemini doesn't do what I want them to do. Um, okay, I want to clarify I want to clarify that 
emperor first. Tell me more about the emperor. No. Please tell me more about the emperor for Gemini. There you go, this one. The moon. There is something we don't know. Well, this person's kind of impatient. I've been checking you. Um, and you probably have no idea about it. That your person, the emperor, you know, we've got the moon, seven of pentacles, and um, page of swords. So they've been quietly checking on you. And the seven of pentacles here tells me that they're, they're very impatient. They kind of like ran out of hope. And I, I connected with this. The Knight of Swords. What is the Seven of Pentacles? Why this person kind of ran out of hope? Like, um, it's, it's, Seven of Pentacles, it's, um, pausing to reflect whether what we've been doing is bringing us results, the one we've desired, you know, we hoped for. King of Swords. I do feel this person is, um, Gemini, you're dealing with someone who's quite, quite stern. This person's words are quite sharp and clear to the point that they may hurt and this person's been checking you out of their own insecurity I feel considering that I have nine of swords here um, because they cannot understand um, what's going on on your end why are they stressed why are they stressed? Why is this person stressed? Why is Gemini's person so nervous? Why are they stressed? I'm glad that I have the sun because if I had something malicious next to the devil then I feel this person you know this person feels really strongly connected to you the devil and um, sorry, the devil and the emperor. They kind of feel like I could be even talking about marriage, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. This this could be the the one. So this could signify for some of you your your spouse. And the devil is representing here that connection so they know this is a very strong bond um, they feel like they've been putting so much work so much work into this love connection into this family into this relationship um, yet something's not right <laughs> like something is just making this person feel insecure I, I really don't know why I got this that you Jim and I are not doing you, you you're not doing what this person wants and they kind of like surprised like what because it's an emperor very interesting why does person want to go why does person want to go? Gemini, why does person want to go? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Please show me why is this person prepared to go? Whee! Magician. Um, I would say that Well, from this person's perspective, they really have done so much for this love connection, for this relationship, for this family. 
whatever your situation is, Gemini, um, that from their perspective, it feels like they've done everything. They, they've invested themselves so heavily. And because there is sun, I, I don't think it's a malicious thing. I think this person's got some, um, how would you call it, ego issue? Like, because there is sun here, I feel this person have, have done a lot of work. Have, feel strong connection to you. But I do believe that this person is fairly stern. And out of insecurity, they've been checking you and wondering why you're not doing what they want. Why you're not listening. Uh, what, you're not following their instructions, literally. They are running out of patience. Um, but they are for now holding back with the hangman, trying to gain a perspective. And I hope they will. It doesn't feel bad. It just feels... Uh, you might be dealing Gemini with someone who's got, you know, or a strong ego. Um, I'll take this, but I wasn't really focused yet. Um, intentions for Gemini. What are this person's intentions? You could be dealing with Pisces, Aries, Leo, Capricorn, Gemini. Hello, Gemini. Um, Gemini. Please. Please show me spirit the energies that I need to see. What are this person's intentions here? I feel, I'll put it this way, I feel the intentions aren't malicious, aren't bad. But there is someone who's got an ego. I feel ego problem. They feel insecure because you're not doing what they want. Things are not happening as they want. This is what I'm getting here. And they are prepared to go. I don't think they'll do it. They just absolutely uh, insecure. For Gemini, please show me what are this person's what are this person's intentions? Please show me intentions for Gemini. I want this. I want this, I want this, <laughs> and I want this, oh, Major Arcana. Okay, we've got the Hermit, um, they are going to pull back, we've got a hangman here, they need to figure things out, and I think it's also, um, I am feeling, feeling you are dealing with someone who's got ego, Problems, they have to think about themselves as well, not only about the relationship. I welcome the um, Virgo card, um, ha um, Hermit. We've got the lovers here. They want this to remain a relationship, they, they, want, they don't want to change anything. They are insecure, and in their head, they feel like, oh my goodness, this is the end. But I don't think they will do anything, and I said that. we got the magician here. They uh, will keep putting in everything they have, okay? With the magician, we've got the cap, we've got the wand, we've got the sword, we've got the pentacle. This represents that this person wants to put everything into igniting this connection, figuring things out. And that's why they are taking a time of also the tower here. Um, they do want to shake things up. I feel the intention is to figure out things. We've got these two other energies that kind of popped out. Um, the four of pentacles and the strength. Perhaps this is passion for you that this person is not revealing with the Four of Pentacles. Perhaps. Um, but these are the energies that I'm paying most attention and I feel Gemini. This person is not going to go anywhere. I don't really think so. I do feel this person um, 
has feels really strongly for you uh, from their perspective they have been doing everything um, they could for this connection for this love for this relationship for this family we had eight of pentacles here yet they are insecure and they are stressed and even consider you know leaving the relationship because they feel so insecure um <clears throat> now what is the tower of sorts and the wheel of fortune so something came to an end something that was meant to end okay and perhaps this is something between you two if your person is i am getting someone who's you know very stern very confident overconfident okay they feel that they are the boss they, they have upper hand um and they are blown away why you, on the other hand, don't really see that relationship this way. Well, I feel this this is coming to a, an, an end. Like this, this is a culmination point. It was meant to happen because your person needs to do some some growing up, okay? And that's why you have a tower. This is growing up. The Pisces card. Hangman, this is posing, and that is a delay as well. Um, so your person may withdraw, lack of communication, delaying communication. But this is growing up. This is trying to see something from a different perspective. This is a major arcana. So your person is growing up. And I really feel, please let me know, I might be wrong. But there is an ego problem here with your person. They are so insecure. Uh, Considering leaving, they're very stressed. They feel very invested in your love connection. And they want it. They don't want this to disappear. They don't want to, they don't want to go. They really don't want to go. So they will um, shake things up. The first thing that they're going to do is this. They are going to grow up. They're going to take some time to look at themselves critically, which is fantastic. I see a green light. I see a light at the end of a tunnel here. Um, Gemini. What are this person's next steps? I think we're ready. Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Pisces, Four of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Chariot. They are going to be. Yeah, there is Eight of Swords. They're gonna. For the next couple of weeks, they are going to be. Um, they will be a lot in their head, and you too. As you can see, there is two people there. But that is that is the reason, okay? Please, if you're watching this, um, if 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 it resonates that your person is someone who's you know got a very strong personality, a, a bit too strong, okay? I mentioned the ego problems, the Pisces card, the the Hermit. It, it's all growing up. It's all looking inwards. It's all trying to figure it out, and it's great. That they will have, um, they are going to express, they are going to sort of pause, and um, it will be hard to get hold of with the Eight of Swords simply because they are, you know, trying to figure out things. But as I say, this is a welcome 
um, it, when I'm looking at it, I feel that this person is going to learn, basically. The Chariot, Four of Wands and King of Pentacles. Look, I feel they are kind of going to... Um, I feel this person is going to be busy um, also in terms of their work and career. Um, which could be a way to just get the head of the situation. The Four of Wands to me is a clear message that, you know, they, they, there is nothing that they want to change in your connection. The strength of this connection remains the same. It's just that they have to figure out, um, you know, themselves in it, I feel. They may travel a lot uh, soon for work. They may travel between home and, and work, like obviously um, and as I say they might be hard to get hold of with the eight of swords because they'll be stuck in their head trying to um, figure out you know why are you not kind of seeing things the way they do why are you not doing what they want you to do well you are a different person and you on you have the um, option to do what they want but you don't have to do it and for some people this is a very difficult concept to grasp now let's move on to the oracle portion of our reading gemini <clears throat> i'm so sorry one message i want to show you my authentic self um, I feel you're dealing with someone who's quite proud of themselves as well, um, but they may have lost this, uh, they may have lost this balance between being confident and, and, and just being a, um, if, Someone who basically uh, over, you know, oversteps toxic patterns. Okay, there is something that this person is learning. There is, there is something repetitive in your connection or in this person's life. Like they are repeating something, and they have to. And if you've been watching this video from the beginning, I have been talking about. The Emperor here, I'm getting a, a very stern and a person with an ego issue, okay, who has to take time with the um, hangman to figure out, to look at the situation from your perspective and, uh, and uh, in the intentions we've got the Hermit, they will pull away in the next couple of weeks, they're going to be hard to get hold of with the Eight of Swords. They'll be in ahead trying to figure out what's, what's is that, you know, what am I doing? Is this, is this maybe something? Okay, my battery as usual. Um, this isn't the one that I wanted. My battery is down, so we might expect. Um, a little cut in the meantime, perhaps I'll make it. This is a um, Terra Oracle, Gemini, just one major arcana for you. I'm going to take this one. The Sun! I welcome this so much here. I love it. It's a protection. Camaraderie, affection, uh, words. To me, the Sun here tells me you know, there's illumination, there is learning for, for, for this person, and there is a protection energy uh, for this connection. I really feel so. This person loves you. They just have a character, let's put it this way, okay? This person wants this connection, and that's why, because you are so important for them, they are prepared to, you know... Um, 
digest their own ego here and, and just work it out. This is my astrology oracle. Let's see what's gonna come for you. Take this Leo and South Node. Okay, soulmate connection. South Node in our natal chart is a point um, that if there's any planet touching it, it's essentially pointing to a soulmate connection. Um, you could also check your natal chart for um, or do a something that's called synastry between your persons and your chart. And if there's any na um, natal planet, Sun, Moon, Venus, yeah, if these major three, or even Mercury and Mars, if any of them is touching South Node of the other one, very strong soulmate connection. Very strong. You've met before. This South Node says, you've met before. You have met before. You have a lesson here to, to um, to go through. We, you you could be dealing with Leo. I think we have strength here. Um, the showstopper. This is someone confident. Showstopper. This is you are dealing with someone really powerful, really strong, really you know. This person can have incredible career, but also big ego. I'm getting. Um, um, I'm back. I've changed my battery. Uh, this is the last oracle. Excuse me for that. Gemini. What a, what a person you're dealing with. This is... Um, <laughs> okay, this oracle is printed in, not in English, so I'm going to cover the language here. Number 22, Czech Spazana Life Pack. There is a person stepping uh, over crocodiles, uh, chasing a ball. Trust. So funny. Trust. I think it's a huge message for you, Gemini, to trust that your person is going to figure it out. Um, that this connection is so significant for them. So there is no doubt that they, are, they, they will not go anywhere. They won't. They were so stressed that they thought that this is going to end up that way. But it's not. We have the sun here. It's a protection, expansion, illumination. Your person is going to tune out. So don't chase them. Let them figure things out. It's going to be hard to get hold of them for the next couple of weeks. They are going to try to figure it out. They are going to try to grow. Look at it from a different perspective. And the message here, the trust. The crocodiles are there for you to get on the other side, okay? Trust that whatever is happening in your situation, um, it's happening for a reason so that your connection can grow. And I see a situation that uh, is not falling apart, but someone is learning here. You have you've you've been um, together in a different lifetime with a self node, so there's a big message of some sort of karmic, definitely soul connection that you two are going through together in this lifetime. Gemini, thank you for your time. Thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If this resonates, please do come back and drop me a comment. Um, Again, stay safe, good luck, and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.